Light him up. Knock him down. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. All right, guys, so we had a horde night last night that was really, really interesting. Um, the zombies were attacking places at the base I would not expect them to. I went over this with some people in chat in between this video and last, and apparently, if a zombie can't get to you, I was under the impression they would break out the blocks directly underneath you in order to collapse what you're standing on. Apparently, that is not the case. Um, the case is, from what I understand, very simple. If they can't get to you, they attack random blocks. Period. Okay? So that's pretty interesting. So because of that, I think we're actually going to dig trenches around... Um around those uh those those bunker those corner bunkers i think i would dig trenches around them because even though i could keep the zombies from breaking in the fact of the matter is the zombies were not coming into the kill zone which is what i want them to do i want them to come into the kill zone so i'm going i'm not going to do that this video though i'm going to mess around it between this and next video this video is going to be a loot run and and maybe even next video will be a loot run too but the next building video is going to be all about trenches and see if we can keep the zombies off of the corner towers um, as best we can. Um, now, one thing I want to show you, I got some stuff cooking up in here, and there's one other thing I wanted to show you that I did off camera that I forgot to show you last episode, and you need to see. All right, so I, I started a farm up here. So, there you go, farm. Blowing your mind, right? Um, so there we go. All right, so we're going to do a quest. Also, people are telling me in the comment section, the reason some of these quests offer less money is because the... Um, the retrieve the supplies are easier. People people go into a, a POI, and when I go into a POI, I clear the whole thing because I feel like I don't know. That's just the way I want to do it. People do not clear. People are not clearing the entire POIs. They're going in. They're getting the supplies and they're getting out. Some people are exploiting, not exploiting, but they're nerd pulling up to the part where the where the supplies are going in there with minimal effort and grabbing them and getting out. So the fun pimp's answer to this was to cut the rewards. So for someone like me who likes to do the entire POI, these quests suck. And I'm not doing them. Um, but I will do this one because this is a proper um, POI clear quest, which will be awesome. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, yeah, I mean, I was uh, I was talking to my, my peeps in uh, Twitch chat. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys say in the comments. Don't forget, I recorded these three videos uh, back to back to back. So I've not seen any of your comments yet. But I'm really interested to see what you guys think about that horde base and, and where things went wrong. I, like I said, I was under the impression that if the zombies had no path up to you, they would just attack whatever's going to collapse what you're standing on the quickest. Um, apparently, that's not really the case. There's no pathing involved. This is what I've been told. I'm no expert on this stuff. I really don't understand the zombie AI. And even if when I do, the fun pimps change it all the time. They really do. Um, so it changes a lot. And, you know, I was under the impression that they would collapse the base or try to. Not so much. <clears throat> they just attack randomly, which I think is really weird. But, you know, whatever. Um, it did make for a more challenging horde night. I thought I had a I thought I had a base defense that was going to just decimate the horde. And even though I did well, my kill zones were not being used. And that's a problem. Although, the quicker the kill zones get used, the quicker they get broken out. Because I can't repair the um, stuff at the bottom. As intended, I don't want to repair the stuff at the bottom. I'm doing that on purpose to make things a little bit more challenging. You know, and plus I did the same thing last season. So, I didn't want to do the same thing again. Um, you know, so that's the way it goes. Alright, let's do this quest. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm not using the pump shotgun. I kind of like this shotgun better than the pump shotgun. Because, I don't know, reasons. I don't know. I feel like this thing, you get more bang for your buck than the pump shotgun. But the pump shotgun is the same damage. Actually, I think this thing has more damage than the pump shotgun. Yeah, it does. The pump shotgun was was 18 per pellet. This is 19. So it actually does do more damage than the pump shotgun. And I don't want to go through a lot of shotgun rounds. So, there's that. Alright, I don't think... Is there an item up here? I think there's an item in here. There's a lot of zombies too, but I don't know. There might be something up here. I don't remember. I know there's zombies in here, but yeah, you know what? I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm not going in that dirty, smelly water for stuff that might be in there or might not. I don't know. Freaking walk out of there with I don't know. What's that what's that new uh that new thing going around? The core volo virus, whatever the hell it's called. Mm -hmm. Oh god! You punk ass son of a bitch. What's a freaking problem? Now you got no head. Look at you now. Look at you now, you dickhead. What did you get? Suck on that, chump. Oh, you know what? I still have points. I think. Oh, I do. Okay, so... Intellect Tree is looking pretty good right now. I like better barding where it is. I like all of this stuff where it is. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave that alone for now. I, I already put my point of 
Flurry of Blows. Do I want to go more for Flurry of Blows? Uh, or this. You know, I kind of think I want to go more for this, probably. Um, I kind of like where this is at right now, too. All right. All right, let's do this. String tree. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Now I can put some more points into that stuff when I get more points. Okay. Lucky Luda. Come on, wake up. Wake up, you dickhead. I've been watching a lot of Ozzy Man on, on YouTube, so I'm saying dickhead a lot. Wake up, you dickhead. That's what you get. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save these shares and put them down at, at my base and wrench them there. 115, get out of here with that. Glass jar, go to hell. Uh, ba -ba. Where are the zombies? Zombies! Where are you? A lot of trash. People always yell at me if I don't loot the trash. They're like, loot the trash! I got a freaking 50,000 dukes in one or something. It's coming crazy like that. The thing is, you remember when you get something like that in trash, you forgot that 50,000 times you looted and didn't get anything. So your average is one duke per trash. So, there you go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Whoop. Be a little careful down here. My game stage is starting to get up to the point where I just can't run in like an idiot like that. There you go. And you're dead. Get some stamina back. <sighs> That's what my guy's like. Alright. Hello, sexy scientist slash nurse. I'll call you a nurse if I want to call you a nurse. I call you. I call you what I want. Uh, ooh, I got a Q hat. A pink Q hat. Someone told me I sold a um a purple football helmet. Can anyone confirm that? Because I probably shouldn't have done that. Although maybe it didn't have thirteen armor. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll take the armor. <laughs> so, it does have more mod slots, though. Mm, scrap, beat a scrap, 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 scrap. Am I wearing the right glasses? I am. Lucky Looter 3! Lucky Looter 3! Lucky Looter 3! Lucky Looter 3! I feel like that was in... Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that song. Maybe. I watched that like a couple times this week. Such a good movie. Creighton Tarantino's a goddamn genius. Alright, what do you got? What you got, bro? What you got? I feel like I should be able to loot that. Give me that polymer. Ooh, seven polymer. Frig yeah. How about polymer there? Metal? That looked plastic to me. Is this thing open? Oh, I forgot about this. I, you know, half the time I come here, I never come out this way. This way. What's up, Fido? Stupid dog. I hate you, Fido. I hate you so damn much. How many cowboy hats do I really need? How many cowboy hats does one man need? Uh, where's my good knife? I don't know. Whatevs. You get your... Eh, whatever. I'll just grab with the axe. Oh, God. 15? Would I have gotten 15 with a knife? Maybe. I'm gonna go... I kind of want to know where that knife is. There's probably all kinds of secrets over here I'm gonna miss. I'm going to pre-apologize for that. I'm gonna go do a drop drop thing at my, um... At my base soon. I'll, I'll see if the knife's in there at that point. God, there wasn't someone behind me. Ah, oh, damn it. If there was something in it, it would have dropped on the ground, right? Mm 
Mm. All right. I don't know if there's any more secrets here. I don't know about them. Let me get out, uh, drop stuff off in my um, in my vehicle. Hey guys, we're back. Cleared up my inventory quite a bit, and let's keep on keeping on. This could be a dangerous spot. I can smell zombies. Or I could see zombies. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Whoop. This guy, woman, whatever. Say goodnight, sexy scientist. I want to see the experience pop up um, when I shoot a zombie so I know if it's dead or not. I also want to see the amount of uh, ammo I have in my gun while I'm zoomed in. I wish I had more shotgun shells. Could have made some, I guess. Those mines won't bother me. I didn't think so. I was going to leave these so I can get out easier, but there's a way to get out at the end, so. Oh! Too noisy, bro. Pretty good, though. Good hiding place. Nah, that would have... Wait, what? How do I get over there? I mean, I could just break through this, but... Yeah. That's, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't care enough to figure it out either. I'll either get there or I won't. Well, oh, you're in an awful hurry to die. Come on, man. I hate it when I can't hit them because of their attack animation. To Papa. <laughs> Love the ragdoll. Damn, woman. I just took you off your feet. Oh, it's a clear quest. I'll have to kill the zombies in that room. Unless they break out while I'm clearing out the rest of the base. But then I'd have to come back. <laughs> Miss this cocksucker. Alright, so he, you see how he's in a northeast angle? That's why it's hard to hit him. Because he's going back and forth trying to get on the proper, you know, pathway. Run, run away, run away, run away to fight another day. Light him up! Knock him down! <laughs> it may be weak, but, you know. He's pissed. And now he's dead. He's dead and pissed. Alright, let's go ahead and eat. 
And let's have a drink. Let's get rid of stupid glass jars and scrap that. And I'm actually going to heal. Oh. Uh, what is that? Is this, that's where I came from. Oh, oh, I see. Lots of stealthy secrets from the fun pimps. Boom. Boom. Come on, man. A lot of trash in here. Wow, oh, that's a bunch of garbage. But that's eh, alright, what are you gonna do? Sometimes it's gonna be fat loot, sometimes it's gonna be garbage. Oh, hold on. Is there something up here? Because there's a ladder. Go oh, yeah. I don't remember how I got up there, though. I haven't been in here in a while. That looks familiar. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I'll figure it out. Let's clear the let's clear the area, loot the fat loot at the end, and then I'll figure it out. I'll grab all this stuff off camera too. Oh. Oh, look at that! My first irradiated! Come on, irradiated. You ain't so tough. Come on. There you go. And now the baseball bat for you. And a baseball bat for you. Cool. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to kill the zombies in the water. That's right. Okay, well, I'll deal with that. Alright, guys. So, apparently... Let me get a DM mode. I use DM mode to grab screenshots. Um, apparently... Apparently, um, I killed all the zombies in the POI. I don't know. I don't know. All the zombies in the water, I guess, broke through to get to me somehow. I don't know. But they're all dead. So all's, all's well that ends well. Do that. Okay. And let's break into this bad boy. I do have a lot of lockpicks. I, I actually looted a lot of lockpicks here. Um, there's good loot on top of both mini rooms back there. One of them you could get through through the ladder, the previous room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to bother because, like, I don't know. I just don't care that much. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting plenty of loot. It's fine. All right, so there we go. Oh, I did forget to put my webcam on. That's okay. I'll put it on in a minute. Um, there we go. Crap. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's a little better, I guess. Not really. Kind of garbage. Pretty shitty. Yeah, that was some very disappointing loot. Lucky looter three my ass. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, hold on. What about this? All right, that's a little better. That actually, that's better. Fifty-three and forty rounds. I like that. That's good loot right there. Hell's yeah. All right, let me let me. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up all this uh, concrete and stuff, and then I'm gonna see if I can get to those super secret rooms that people are telling me about. Let's see if I can get there, and uh, if I do, I will show you on video. Although I'm sure you guys know how to get there. I'm probably the only one here who doesn't know how to get there, but you know we'll see. First things first, though, let's dig this stuff up. All right, guys, I went ahead and dug up all of the cement and the cobblestone, and there's a ladder up here, but I don't, I don't see anything up here, so I'm assuming this doesn't go anywhere important. Um, I think this goes to like the out, like leads me out of the base. Yep. All right. So we're going to come over here. I did find a ladder over here that I'm hoping will, loot, will uh, <coughs> bring me to some good loot. There's this one right here, which, you know, is a bag. So, But a bag is a bag. All right. So we got that. And might as well loot the trash. Everyone tells me to loot the trash. Okay. And then over here is what I was really looking at. So you come up here. And this looks like something. Okay. Scrap. I'll take that. And here we go. Okay. So, trash. Oh, that's a nice one. I do like that. That's a, that's a good piece of loot right there. That's a good p 
Piece of loot. That's a good piece of loot. Yeah. So all right. So the loot is starting to pick up. Uh, take that. All right. And we got to get over there. I guess I'll just nerd pull up there. There's probably a way to get up there, but whatever. I don't care that much. Ner that's what nerd pulling was invented for. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best way to go. Can I... Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is that spot I was looking through. Okay. So this is like a hidden stash, right? This isn't like a toilet, right? There we go. Hidden stash crates are the good ones. All right, not much in there, but that's a that's a good um, that's like one of the best handled mods you can get. Uh, now here's the question: Should I switch out? I'm gonna think about this. I'm not gonna do it right now. Should I switch out the bleeding effect for the ergo ergonomic grip? The ergonomic grip takes 10% less stamina. I think personally, bleeding in this game is pretty weak. Um, I tested it like a year or two ago, <clears throat> and they've changed it a lot since then. So I don't know if bleeding is maybe better now than it was. But when I tested it, bleeding was like nothing. It was absolute garbage. Um, so, but I don't know. It might be better now. So who knows? Uh, maybe I should just put it on my pick. It's not really needed on my pick. Honestly, I don't run out of stamina when I'm using my pick. All right, cool. Well, that's it. Let's go turn this, uh, let's go turn this quest in and get our fat loots. All right. I promised my peeps in Twitch chat. I would grab this loot crate on the way out. So I will do that. Um, I think it's like a working stiff crate, they said. And they said I can get it without, like, oh. Without even getting off the ladder. So there you go. Working stiff. Mm, 31 polymer. It's actually pretty nice. And those switches will come in handy as well. Cool. All right, let's go turn this quest in. All right, and here we are at the trader. Okay. What you got for me, bro? Now we're cooking with gas. Wow. The quest rewards have been pretty bad. Maybe, um, I think last season I put two points in the Daring Adventure. Maybe I should think about doing that again. Because these are, you know, these are pretty bad quest rewards. Um, although if I want another, I'll take the beaker. Sure, why not? Oh, a double. Okay, cool. So that's nice. Ooh. I can make this, so I'm going to take this. Really? I'm going to take one of your stupid, awful quests where I got to, like, go punch a rabbit to death or shoot a rabbit with a shotgun or, or shoot a, a girl with a freaking uh, a freaking nail gun? Get out of here with that shit. This stuff's horrible. <laughs> See, you can tell I really appreciate this game and I love the fun pimps, but I'm really I'm hard on them with stuff like that because I've been playing this game for so long, you know? Like, when you play a game for so long, you love it in your soul but then you notice like things that bother you you know it's just no nah, it's just the way it is all right i'm just gonna look through this guy's stuff really quick just because i can um really quick quicker cage quicker oh i need potatoes i'm gonna buy those right now i actually need a lot of potatoes okay okay ah it's not the ones i need i will buy the honey come on buy the damn honey there you go uh, okay, looking good. Um, grandpa, eh, that's for experience. Oh, there we go. And I just have enough. Well, let me make sure there's nothing I want more, but I don't see how that could possibly be anything I'd want more. Motherfucker. <laughs> I want that too. I think I have enough for both. Barely. I'll make it work. One way or another. I wasn't even going to look at this guy's stuff. I'm so glad I did. Dude, that's such a fun... Ra oh, more ragdoll. Oh. That's funny. Alright, well, first things first. This is a no-brainer. And we do not have enough. We will get enough, though. We're, we're not leaving without it. Yeah, I can always come back later, but to hell with it. Uh, oh, I don't have repair kits. God damn it. Well, they're my thing, so. Got the auger, people. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, got the auger. Uh, is there anything I want to sell more? Yeah, I do want to sell some glasses. I don't need those. Um, hold on to the steroid. Well, probably hold on to steroids for now. Repair. Repair. Don't you lose 25% if you scrap the brass? Is that still a thing, or 
Someone in chat's telling me scrap brass, but last time I last time I looked at it, you lose twenty five percent of it. That's why I don't do it. Um, sell the crossbow parts or the bow parts. Um, and the nerd glasses and those. Okay, I could sell more, but I'm gonna hold off um, for now. Oh, you know what? I never looked up this schematic. Yeah. Okay. Nothing I care about. Um, and there we go. I can't believe I can make cigars now. You that is so freaking sweet. For those of you who don't know what cigars are going to do, it's going to give you plus one to strength, just plus one to strength, and it'll take the spot of the bandana that I don't give a shit about. Oh, it's freaking fantastic. I love it. All right. Well, you know what? I think we are going to call this one here, guys. Um, if you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.